Yeah, uh, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, Bryson Mott's uh, unbelievable per- performance tonight um, and filling up the strike zone, 12 strikeouts, one walk. Um, and I think that really shows the adjustments he's made from a year ago. Um, and he just continuously keeps getting better. Uh, Flo's done an unbelievable job with him. Um, last year made some adjustments at the end of the year, speeding up his windup. And then he went over the summer and pitched in the Northwoods and uh and worked on that adjustment and pitched well and then uh has pitched well ever since pitched well in the fall um pitched well here again in january and uh his demeanor he's he's on attack mode uh he's confident you can tell he's believing in himself and um it couldn't be more proud of him going out on his his first outing of the year and and you know attacking a good a great team you know and and he, he did an excellent job Got to get uh, Cam Vasquez in the game tonight. I thought that was a big part for us. Uh, a four-year guy, um, you know, he just played. He played loose. He had fun, um, and it was great to see him out there. He had a big walk, um, two-two count. Drew, uh, got it to three-two. Um, walked there, and that set the table for Dustin Allen's uh, big three-run double there. Um, you know, so I can't say enough again about our guys coming out being aggressive. And that's our style of baseball and, um, you know, owning, you know, what we're trying to do at the plate and then what we're trying to do on the mound. Um, and that's taking control and, and being aggressive. Um, we'll talk about Mods here first. Obviously, you know, 12 strikeouts for the start. Obviously, you know, the sense of a kid that obviously is getting a lot of looks, you know, since he had a lot of success early in the year. So uh, what's your message to Mods, you know, new and rookie at pitching staff? Yeah, I think it, it, it always goes back to, you know, what what's your intent, right, and and what's your goal. Um, and credit to our guys um, and, and credit to um, each one of them, the leadership, the older guys, as far as their goal is to win. And if that is the main thing and, 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 and doing that, I think that is key for, you know, the success, right? If the goal is to go out and win – and not worry about the side to side, the noise, um, if you will. Um, then you can go out and kind of take care of business on your own. And you know that's credit to these older guys. And and Mats has you know been here three years now, and and he sh- he's had his share of challenges the last couple of years, you know. And uh, it says a little bit about him too, I think, to come out and you know keep meeting those challenges head on, you know, and 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 climbing over those hurdles and. Uh, Coach Hill, I think, did a great job of challenging him, too, the last couple of years, and he saw his potential. Um, and Flo's just done an unbelievable job with, with cleaning up his mechanics and getting him to, to really pound the strike zone. Uh, Ian Murray has put up seven runs in an inning, obviously, in that one inning, and it was, I think it was the third inning, three walks, two were by pitches. But you know, just like last night, you guys, I don't think once the series you haven't taken him down more than once. Yeah, I, I again um, sticking with us, um, you know, trying to control our at bats um, and it's discipline, it's toughness. Um, it's not about trying to get a hit all the time, but it's one pitch at a time. Uh, win one pitch at a time. Um, work counts. Uh, get deep into counts. Um, and our guys know. Hey, I mean, you, you get to a three ball count, you get out. It's a win. It's a win. You, you're you're running counts, and and therefore you know that that makes that pitcher work even more. And um, I thought our guys did a good job of that tonight, um, all the way down. Like I said, Vasquez had a couple of those counts. Dustin Allen was coming through, um, working the count uh, into his favor, uh, walking. You know, I think we had six walks tonight, um, a couple hit by pitches, and and when you're able to do that, those are free nineties, and we're able to take advantage of that uh, on the offensive end and. Um, get some big hits. Jack Costello uh, gets that big run there. I think it was the seventh or eighth inning, <clears throat> seventh inning, uh, with two outs, you know, and just takes what the pitcher gives him and smokes a line drive in the right center gap and drives the guy in. So <clears throat> it's uh, it's team of bats, pass the torch, um, and it was great to see. Let's, let's talk about Dia for a second. Obviously, you know, a double yesterday. Uh, you know, in, in that situation there, the, the home run thrown to face Allen was – bases loaded, a couple outs, and that's a difficult out for pro guys, let alone college kids that are, you know, battling in front of them. Um, you know, talk to us about how that's got to work, the way that, you know, how important it is to have a home run like that. 
Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Sloan coming in, we knew he's a fastball guy, um, you know, and, and kind of doing our, our homework on the on the scouting side, um, you know, and, and we gave him that plan, and, and he executed that plan. He was aggressive. He was aggressive. He was coming in. He was going to swing the bat, and he got a fastball, I believe. It is, that's what he hit, and um, very confident um, with his approach and getting on, getting on a fastball early and, and drove it, and that ball carried. And – I think he's realizing what he can do, and, and, you know, he's growing every step of the way at the plate. Last several outs of Jordan Hicks, you know, <coughs> the last couple of innings, but it's a big run right there, obviously. You know, you put up seven in the third, and then it was, you know, uh, a lot of zeros on the board with that running count. Like you said, seven at that point, another run off the board. But, you know, to keep answering and, and you know, putting up runs by the past several over the last couple of nights, uh, talk to us about, you know, the, how he's started so far since getting the five series by him. Yeah, uh, it's Jack. Jack's. Uh, it's tough. It's toughness, and 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 that's what that's what it's about. It's 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 competing every pitch, um, and every at bat. Um, yes, he's got the talent. Um, you know, you can have the talent. You you can do all that, but if you don't have tough toughness and discipline, and you don't believe in yourself, then um, you know it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard for you. So uh, Jack is tough. He's selfless. He's not all about himself. He's not just trying to uh, hit the big home run. Um, team at bats. And that's the attitude with this team. It's about team events. It's about team pitching um, and whatever it takes to win. Uh, you know, obviously, I haven't had the moment inside, but the play of Corey Kennedy Smith getting the single and the ball kind of got thrown around a little bit. What do you see that from what you saw as, as the manager and, and you know, guys trying to do too, too much? Or, you know, some things are kind of not go your way. And, and no, I – I'll take it. It was a, it was aggressive play. I thought Ricketts was heads up trying to see that, hey, the throw's up the line. Let me come get it, and let me try to make a, a play at, at second. We always talk about trying to let that batter runner not advance 90 feet, and I thought Caleb made the right um, the right play on it, and I wouldn't have him do it any other way after that. You know, um, the ball slipped, came out of his hand. You know, stuff like that happens in the game, but I would never want to take away from his aggressiveness and, and, and that heads up play instead of waiting around for the play, the tag, and then, you know, the batter runner moves up 90 feet. It's a high risk, high reward, but I thought he I thought he made the right decision. You know, overall, you're, you, you know about your infield and, and those are in the right spot, but uh, talk about the outfield play, especially versus uh, Brad Coleman. You know, they started around that ball down last time in the ninth. Uh, B.A. is one of the most you know, capable and has been the most dead behind the ball in center field. And, you know, he, he doesn't know the cover some ground out there. 100%, and, and we've put a huge emphasis on pitching and defense. Um, if we want to go where we want to go this year, it's going to be about pitching and defense and securing the baseball, uh, throwing strikes, playing catch. Um, I know these guys keep hearing me say it over and over, and it's kind of redundant, but, um, you know, the confidence. Uh, Dustin can really flat-out play defense. He can go get the ball. Um, so that was a that was a big catch by him at the wall. And then, and then Jackie last night in left field ran a long way. Um, you know, catching that ball at the uh, on the on the left field line uh, says a lot about him. He's improved significantly. That guy's a corner infielder. He can play third base. He's a really good third baseman. He can play first. Um, and we moved him to the outfield last year, um, and he's continued to get confident with his defense. And um, he's he's a really good left fielder. Yeah, I mean, uh, unbelievable job. It doesn't always work out that way. That's the goal. That's the plan. Um, but credit to our guys. You know, they, they know that. They know that's the plan. And you hear them in the dugout. They're talking about it. They're talking to one another. Let's go get the pitch count up, see if we can get to that bullpen, get to that bullpen early. Um, and, again, you know, uh, it's it's huge, when, especially when you're playing four games. You schedule four games, like, okay, cool, we're playing four games. But at the same time, you're going, boy, I hope I have enough pitching for those four games. And, um, you know, hey, we, we they're going to come out ready to go, ready to rock and roll uh, tomorrow because I, I know that, that, that coaching staff is uh, going to be pushing them big time. And, um, you know, we just got to keep, keep doing what we're doing and, and keep throwing strikes, you know. If you throw strikes and you have the discipline and you have that, that, that confidence on the attack mode, hey, if they're going to hit it, they're going to hit it. Um, hope hopefully our defenders are, are in the right position to make the play. Uh, 
like that the way the market is shifting right now, right? Yeah, uh, I, I know I keep it's the same words I keep using, but um, that's that's the mentality being on uh, on that mission um, on the mount and. Uh, it's it's being that predator and, and both of those guys you know Hyde, Hyder comes in tonight uh, which was great you know he's he came in he had uh, off season surgery on his hip um, and it, you know he had that that mentality you could see it in his eyes on the mound um, and he was going right after him uh, filling up the strike zone not afraid to get hit you can't be afraid to get hit and you, and I think you know that message is, is loud and clear from from Flo and um, you know these guys you could tell they believe they believe in that you know Monty going out there and and trusting his stuff and uh you could just see it you could see it on his face and um couldn't be more proud of those two guys couldn't be more proud proud of our pitching right now and uh pitching and defense you know that's what uh that's what we can definitely try to control i thought it went really well we came out here put a ton on them and i was just happy to carry on rennie's performance from yesterday and keep their offense down Yeah, I was just trying to keep active in the dugout, kind of pacing around a little bit, keep my body going. And I just knew I had to go out there and kind of keep the knife in there and come out strong with a good first strike and a shutdown inning. What were some of the challenges that Oregon gave you tonight in terms of that fastball? They were a really good fastball hitting team. If you make any mistake, they punish me. And I think that's how it's going to be with any team like Oregon. And so just making sure that I'm being the best I can and keeping it off the heart of the plate. Obviously, you know, you, you know, the end of your outing, um, you know, a couple of plays didn't go your way, specifically with Tanner Smith. Um, how were you able to go out there and, you know, play like that, be able to just, you know, weather the storm and, and, and finish the day? Like, how, how did that kind of help you out tonight? Yeah, it's just mostly uh, confidence in myself and then confidence in the team, knowing maybe I didn't get one for me, but by the end of the season, they're going to pick me up way more times than – Situations like that will have happened. Fifteen strikeouts and one walk uh, between you and you and Jack. Good day in the good day of the office, right? Yeah. Roommate roommate tandem there. Oh, there you go. That's gonna be good. What, what do you like to see out of the pitch right now? Uh, I think he's gonna have a really good day. I think he just keeps attacking the zone. We'll be set, and I think he has the opportunity to strike out even more. All right. Congrats, Rennie. Thank you. Thank you very much.